National Assembly Speaker Nusifio Mapisa Ngakula has reportedly been arrested a day after she took special leave amid damning corruption allegations against her. It's understood the Speaker may be in court, but we had to confirm this. She has launched an urgent interdict now to prevent her arrest and is also asking for the dockets to be handed over to her. In fact, Mapisa Ngakula says she took special leave from her position in order to protect the integrity of of Parliament. Earlier this week, you might remember her home was raided by the NPA's investigating directorate in connection with the alleged corruption during her tenure as Defence Minister. Let's get you a sense of what else we know at this hour. Bring in our senior reporter, Samkele Masego, who's live to us now from the Pretoria Central Police Station. And Samkele, it's a fast-moving story with sometimes contradicting reports around what exactly is happening. Perhaps you can let us in on what you've been able to ascertain so far. Well, Ayanda, what we do know at this point in time is that her legal team, the Speaker of Parliament, Nosivuwe Mapisa Ngaukula, her legal team is currently inside here at this police station, uh, the Pretoria Central Police Station. Her legal team is there. She has also launched an, or an urgent court interdict to try and prevent her arrest. I'm just going to read a few points from uh, this uh, urgent court interdict that uh, she sent uh, to the legal team. In essence, this uh, urgent court document is saying quote ordering and directing that first and second and third or fourth and fifth respondents to furnish the applicants legal representatives forthwith without delaying the entire state brief including without limitation the entire docket case number and its entire sorry i'm just uh, trying to read this particular document that a call just uh, came through from one of the sources in this particular case which essentially they want the entire docket of this case to be handed over uh, 3.2 .3 all informer dockets covers populated in terms of the national instructions in similar informer files connected to the docket essentially Nosifuema legal team wants the entire docket to be handed over to her legal team ordering and directing first and all the respondents to arrange a date with the applicant's attorney for off record for summoning of lab applicant to appear in magistrate's court with jurisdiction in terms of section 55 of a cpa essentially they want they to sit down and discuss her and how she's going to hand herself over to the legal team so no civil has launched that urgent court interdict to prevent her arrest to have the docket handed over to her legal team for perusing and also for all other legal matters seized from her house to be handed over to a legal team for examining as well yeah, and you know, I've also got that document in front of me, Sam Gale, and part of what she says there is that my dignity and reputation, pre-trial rights promised uh, according to the Constitution are being infringed, and I reasonably apprehend that this will continue without the relief which I am asking for. And it's very interesting because as you and I speak, it seems few people know where the speaker is amid those claims that in fact she had handed herself over to police. Indeed, very few people know her whereabouts. The sources that I've spoken to here say they never saw her at all. They saw her legal team at uh, with uh, some of the investigating officers. They were discussing here, but her persona, they never saw her at all. Her whereabouts are being questioned. But I and uh, historically, you'd remember when the late Jackie Selebi, the former uh, pro uh, police commissioner, was going to be arrested, he also launched a similar application to interdict the National Prosecuting Authority from arresting her. This time around, Nosivir Mapisa Ngakula has done the same, which was done by the late Jackie Selebi. Jackie Selebi was not successful at that particular time and point in trying to prevent his arrest and interdicting the National Prosecuting Authority and handing and having the docket handed over to his legal team. This time around, one wonders if Nosivuwa Mapisa Ngakula will be successful, noting that Jackie Silebi was unsuccessful. But we do know that if this particular arrest does go through, she has to appear before the Pretoria Magistrates Crimes Court on commercial crimes here at Pretoria on the Saki Street as opposed to going to the High Court. Absolutely. And I suppose as we wait for all of that to unfold, Samgele, it should not be lost to us 
just how significant this is, even at the level of optics. I mean, the National Assembly Speaker is the head of one arm of government. And depending on how you see it, she's essentially at the same level as the President, who's the head of the executive, and the Chief Justice, who's the head of the judiciary. This is incredibly significant. It is incredibly significant, but you have to be historical here, Ayanda, and remember that the first reports on Nosi Vuema Pisangakula emanated a few years ago in reports then done by Mziliga Ziwa Africa saying that Nosi Vuema Pisangakula is shrouded and implicated in allegations of corruption and wrongdoing. Those particular reports subsided a few years to come. Then you'd remember how embarrassing it was for the state president, particularly during the July unrest in KwaZulu natal when they as the sandf and other particular defense organs of the state or security apparatus of the state were found wanting during those july unrest you have subsequently had to be redeployed she's had allegations as well of uh, taking in people on the private jet of the state bringing them into the country illegally those allegations she has to deal with as well so she has had a persona of having allegations uh, shrouding her particular persona during the various portfolios she's had you'd also remember during the tenure of uh, the troubles that the late mama winima tigizela mandela had when she was at the helm of the anc women's league she was part of those anc women's league nec members who resigned from the anc women's league nec saying that they cannot be led by someone who is alleged to be corrupt in the form of winnie matigizela mandela and these allegations today of corruption come to shroud her in the latter ages of her time in politics particularly knowing that she would not be going back to parliament after the election she is effectively retiring from politics within the country and she's now had to take a leave of absence or special leave from her duties due to these allegations of receiving kickbacks from a service provider during her tenure as the minister of defense within the country we did extend a call to advocate Mtunzi Mhaga, the National Prosecuting Authority spokesperson, and he simply said, Samkelo, I'm in Umtata, I don't know what is happening. Yeah, and I think many other people could repeat that statement. Few people know exactly what's happening, but that doesn't mean that this isn't a newsworthy story worth your attention. What you just mentioned is incredibly important as well. This idea that the speaker's in the twilight of her political career, but there's going to be a lot of questions around what this might do to her legacy at the very least, even though her political life, at least insofar as she had wanted, is pretty much over. Her political life is pretty much over, but you've got to be cognizant of the history of the relations between the Ngakulas and also the head of the union buildings. At this point in time, we've not heard anything from Mr. Vincent Makwenya. I am supposed to extend a call to him to ask what is transpiring with Nosivwe Mapisa Ngakula. We were supposed to have a doorstop with President Ramaphosa yesterday out at the Human Rights Commemoration in Shopville, but uh, that did not come to fruition. You do know that Nosivwe Mapisa Ngakula's husband, Mr. Charles Ngakula, at some point was the security advisor to the President of the Republic of South Africa. That particular stint was short-lived and that tenure ended very fast and subsequent to that Nosi Vuema Pisan Ngakula was redeployed from defense taken to be the speaker of a parliament as well. You'd also remember that the Ngakula seem have a very close relationship with the Watsons out in Akebeha as well, that would be the late Kevin Watson, Valence Watson, uh, Chiki Watson. They were very close with the Watson brothers stemming from the exile days and the days fight for the liberation of this particular country. And you'd also remember that Nosivu Mapis and Nakula was perceived to be one of the individuals uh, protecting President Sir Ramaphosa from the Section 89 report on the Palapala revelations and the dollars that were found at the president's farm. So it has been a pretty much contentious relationship between the presidency and the Ngakulas and Nosivu Ngakula with the president and some like the opposition parties seeing Nosivu Ngakula as someone, as a presiding officer in parliament who protected President Sir Ramaphosa from being held accountable and basically being sent to that impeachment process in parliament over the section 89 report and also 
also throwing out that report from any form of accountability within Parliament after it was done, saying it held no legal scrutiny or no had no legal binding against the president. Yeah, absolutely. All of this important context as we try and make sense of this moment. Samkele Maseko, for now, thanks very much indeed. Samkele is live to us there from the Pretoria Central Police Station as we continue watching this fast-moving story around Nosifio Mapistas Ngakula's imminent arrest and this decision we now know from her legal team to interdict that arrest. You'll forgive us, we're making sense of the information as it comes through and part of what we also understand is that there's an urgency to this application, this interdict I should say, and part of why she's saying it's urgent is because there have been false allegations against her agreement to present herself at the uh, Littleton police station. That tells us that those claims that she had handed herself over don't appear to be true, at least if this interdict and the wording here is anything to go by.